This is Matthew Cratter's Bitcoin University. Today I want to answer the question, is it safe to run Bitcoin Core? Now the original title of this video is going to be, is it safe to run Bitcoin Knots? And then it occurred to me that there are actually some very good reasons to flip the title on its head and talk about Bitcoin Core as well. For those of you who haven't been following this, Bitcoin Knots and Bitcoin Core are just different versions of software that allow you to run a Bitcoin node. And you can choose what to run as a node operator. Now, confidence in Bitcoin Core is plummeting thanks to all the recent funny business that has been happening over there. As Samson points out, with everything that's happened in the last few weeks, with people being banned from the repo, pull requests being ninja locked, unlocked, talk about Bitcoin being a database, encouragement to run just a prune node, etc. Do you feel more confident to use Bitcoin Core or less? And almost 60% of the people said they feel less confident running Bitcoin Core. Then there's the other big non-confidence vote in Core with Knots node implementations skyrocketing, literally going vertical in the past week. There are quite a few Bitcoin Core devs and related people who are not too happy about this, much like an ancien regime aristocrat before the French Revolution Word has reached their lofty perch that there are murmurings among the peasants who is stirring up the great unwashed masses against their technocrat masters. Antoine Poinsot says, can ex-influencers please stop pushing gullible users onto vulnerable software, quote unquote, maintained by one guy who has troubles with reality. He's talking about Bitcoin, Knots here, and Luke Dasher. It's not a very kind way, I don't think, to talk about him. This is harmful and irresponsible. Now, when you last donated to Bitcoin Core, did you ever imagine, I certainly didn't, that they considered you to be a gullible user who was not allowed to vote with his feet when he saw weird things happening at Core? Wasn't that always the old talking point that if Core got corrupted, there's nothing to worry about because node runners could just run different software like Knots? But it turns out that in the eyes of Bitcoin Core, we're not just Bitcoin plebs, we're actual plebeians. If you're finding this video helpful so far, just pause really briefly here to ask you to help to support this channel. Hit the subscribe button, that really helps. Leave a like, leave a comment, question, suggestion for a future video, and share this video with a friend or family member. So according to Bitcoin Core, the real problem is not that Bitcoin Core has screwed up big time in the past couple of weeks. Rather, it's a problem of quote unquote misinformation. Where have you heard that before? You're not being good little plebs and trusting the experts. Instead, you're asking uncomfortable questions on X. As Sergi Delgado says here, some people are stirring the pot over the opera turn drama to gain or regain relevance and it shows. And then Gloria, who works at Bitcoin Core says, ha ha, but explains all this strangely persistent misinformation and accusations. It's really funny to see Bitcoiners using a word like misinformation and using it non-ironically. These Bitcoin Core devs are like fiat politicians, closing ranks and defending one another while they gaslight outsiders about misinformation. Do you see why so many people are frustrated with Core now? Here's what Core should actually be doing instead of doing posts like that. Tell all of us what actually happened. Why all the funny business around the PR? Release all the behind the scenes details and name some names. Demonstrate to the people that you're actually competent and honest and transparent. And please, please stop with the gaslighting. I actually wanna know the name of the person who banned Mechanic from the GitHub. Where does he or she get their funding from? Are there any conflicts of interest? Also, who exactly opened and closed the GitHub comments to let an act quickly get in and then later deleted that act once they realized that everyone was watching? Name some names. I thought we had this policy of transparency and openness. What exactly took place and who is being held ac accountable? Or is Bitcoin Core just going to function like Washington, D.C., where no heads ever roll when bad things happen and no one ever takes responsibility? At this point, one or more people need to be fired from Bitcoin Core. That is clear. I want to know everything about each of these devs. I want to know how closely they've been interacting with crypto VCs who want to put spam on Bitcoin or attempt to turn Bitcoin into Ethereum. Why is Bitcoin Core suddenly so concerned about UTXO bloat now after not doing anything about it for the past two years? And why does this concern now today manifest itself as a push to remove a filter that has been working quite well? Why is no one at Bitcoin Core shaming the spammers and calling them out and asserting the really obvious fact that Bitcoin is a monetary network? And if you don't understand this very basic fact that Bitcoin is a monetary network, I really don't want you anywhere near the code. Is all Bitcoin Core that ideologically aligned towards spam 
have money or favors been changing hands over the past two years? I'd be very surprised if they haven't. And why should being tolerant of spam be the ideologically neutral default for this organization and for what's called the default implementation of the Bitcoin consensus rules? As Mechanic writes here, core apologists are the CNN of this whole deal. They cry censorship when nodes might assert themselves by having up-to-date spam filters, and then they say absolutely nothing when tens of millions in VC money gets funneled into frogs on Bitcoin crap, which fills up the blockchain for months on end, nuking the UTXO set and ruining Bitcoin's organic growth as a medium of exchange. And then he has this great quote replying to Preston, having control over your mempool is extremely dangerous to our democracy. I posted this cartoon yesterday that somebody helped me make, and I wrote, Ruled by Technocrats and Linguistic Nihilism, this idea that we can't ever know what spam really is. Ruled by Technocrats and Linguistic Nihilism are toxic combination born of fiat and should not be tolerated in Bitcoin. The pleb saying, will you fix the spam here at Bitcoin Core headquarters? Spam, impossible to define in a principled way, has Bitcoin Core become a technocracy. An important note here before we end, running Bitcoin knots will not fork the network or create a new coin. You don't have to worry about that. It follows the same consensus rules. Bitcoin knots is 99.99% the same code as Bitcoin Core. It just has some patches and some fixes added. So in, in, in addition, you won't need to download the blockchain, the whole Bitcoin blockchain. If you're switching from Core to knots, most implementations like Start9 or Umbral will allow you to point to the existing blockchain that you've downloaded. Yeah, but Bitcoin Knots is run by just one guy. So if you're saying that, why don't you volunteer to help if you can? Because Luke has said repeatedly that he welcomes the help. And you're really going to have to answer for yourself when you're deciding which version of the Bitcoin software to run. Are you going to run the software maintained by Luke Dasher, who has literally saved Bitcoin at least two times in its history by sticking his neck out when no one else would? Or do you want to run software put out by a group that looks down on you, gaslights you, and refuses to be transparent and take responsibility? for its mistakes. If you want to learn how to download Bitcoin Core, I'll link to all of these resources here. I have a short video on YouTube and on Twitter, and also link to a much more extended video by BTC Sessions and a video that's quite good as well by Cole. So I'll put a link to this. If you come across this post, you can retweet it so other people learn how to download Bitcoin Knots as well. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe and like buttons. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.